don't stop. Hi there, people. How y'all doing? What's happening? Yes, you're on the street just with your boy Kachi, and we are here chilling at, you know, a bright sunny day in somewhere Penn Cinema area, Agege, Lagos, Nigeria. Right now, we're going to be talking about something, all right? There are a group of people in Nigeria that proclaim with so much pride that they are a friend to you and I. They are the Nigerian police, and they are saddled with responsibility of maintaining law and order in the society. One of their most popular slogans is, the police is your friend. But today on Street Chase, we're going to find out just how much of a friend the police is to you and I. That's the issue we're going to be treating, and we're going to take it to the streets to find out your opinion. So why don't you come with me? It's everybody friends, not only mine. It's everybody, except you know that your, your handwork is not genuine. That's why police will not be your friend. I hate Nigerian police. Sincerely, if I had a chance to sue them for everything they have, I would, without batting an eyelash. I hate Nigerian police. That's an area that police, they are meant to be our friends. But you know that Nigerian police, they are far, far away from their primary or their, their objectives. There are some good Nigerian police. Let me be frank. I remember the one when I lost my NYAC ID card. Kids, they really assist me when, when I find out that I don't have much money. When I'm getting a police affidavit. The man equally said I was, I said no, for me, I will say that at least out of thousand, there's one that is good. Few we are good, but many, uh, they are comma. I see police as a friend of the people. We only pray that God will help them to be faithful. They're not my friends. Because most people you see on the way, they just stop you, they embarrass you, they are not even policemen. They, they, will, just, they will just flash a card to you, their ID card, and they tell you that, uh, that uh, they, 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 they are policemen. Most of them, they will just be a mufti, they are not even police, they are amrabas. You know? Some of them, they will just arrest you illegally. When you beg them, say, why are you begging me? My friend, what, what, what do you have? All this kind of thing. Maybe the best thing about shops this morning. They will try to force the person to collect all what the person has in the pocket. Uh, we call it, uh, we call them, it's, they are our friends. But as in the view, they are our enemy. They are my enemies. In fact, I don't even like having anything to do with them. You are not always, you are always guilty with the Nigerian police. Whether you are not guilty or you will always be guilty. They are not my friend, they are my enemy. Forget about them, really. If you take him as your friend, I don't want to hook you up one day. But, but really, they are doing their best if the nationality of the country can take care of them. Yes, you heard it live on the streets. That's it, straight up from street gist. Now, everybody says a friend in need is a friend indeed. And that's why everybody needs a good friend. So right about now, it's time to pay a visit to a good friend of mine and see what's going down. It's council of time. So don't go anywhere. Yeah, really, I, I must say that uh, of sure that police is our friend. Um, every society needs the police. But you need somebody to guide you, to help you, to mediate. Police are known as the peacemakers. So really, police is actually, or should be, our friends. I've been saying this for more than 11 years, and she said, government of Nigeria is the enemy of the Nigerian police. I always say, the government has not done anything to help the police. I, I may be able to see it any time. If I see the president of Nigeria, I will tell him that, that the Nigerian government has not been fair to the Nigerian police. So by that, they have not been fair to the Nigerian people because you can't empower a man. You take a man and train him on how to use the gun and fire, how to shoot, and you don't equip him very well. But there are more issues 
more reasons why this 2029. I will tell you, a police vehicle that is on the road today, I beat my chest to say, it's not fueled by the government. That vehicle is fueled by the police station, by the money that is contributed by the, either the DPO or this man. Most times, these men collect this money to fuel their vehicles. It's sad because I know that the, the allocation they give for fueling to the police in most of the police commands today cannot even take police for two days. You send people from Medjugorje or from Yola to come on special duties to Lagos. They don't have a home to stay. They don't have any place to stay. They sleep in the vehicles. They don't have where to take their bath. How do you expect them to be better? How do you expect them? You go to the police, police training college, take time and get there. I see, I see the life that those people are living. So that is where they are going to come out. To serve. They cannot come out and serve Nigeria better with the kind of the training they are going through because they are trained as if they are not human beings. So that really is the major problem we are having. But like I always say that it's not an excuse. We all have opportunity to go into crime, but we chose the path of honor. And that is what I always tell the policemen. You can also ignore, in the midst of all this problem, there are still some, so many policemen that are right and doing the right thing without them forcing anybody to give them money. People will and say, thank you for what you are doing. And that is how I think it should be. There are different ways of doing things. I was in Ghana, and then a, a, a driver, a commercial a driver I took, a car I took, you know, were just giving me details of how traffic offenses have been handled. You commit a crime. Nobody chases after you. Nobody will chase after you. But the next day, you just see a paper in your <laughs> delivered either to your house or to your office because there's a monitor. People are somebody is somewhere is monitoring you, but through the modern electronic system, and the CCTV on the streets or your plate number is is digitalized. And once you do wrong, the police press a button. It, your number is registered. You take it to the central registering registering office. It is downloaded, the owner of that vehicle and the address and all those. This is taken by the next morning. When you think uh, you have done and you, they just come there and say, listen, um, this is it. This is this just Ghana here. So really, so it will reduce all this harassment, all this harassment that people face, all this brutality. You arrest a suspect who is accused of having committed a crime. There's no need beating him to confess. There's no need harassing him to confess. There are better methods these days used in doing it. If people use the digital means, it's easier. There are lie detectors. I want to interrogate you. I just plug in the lie detector. Whatever you're saying is shown. I know, so I don't need to torture you. I can come and lock you up in a place and make you, make you look a solitary situation and you get apprehensive. Without touching you, you open up and say, there are better ways. I feel, I feel that police, can do it better than they are doing. They sh every human being has a right and it has to be protected.